Today we're transforming affordable supplies into beautiful and gorgeous Christmas ornaments. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I want to welcome you here to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. We're going to be getting a lot of our supplies today from Dollar Tree, keeping this very, very affordable. First up, these wood rings are so great. Grab them from Dollar Tree. If not, they have them on Amazon too and I'll link them down below for you. We're going to be pairing them with these mini snowflake cutouts. I found these at Hobby Lobby and they were super affordable and we're just going to combine them too. I have this really cool silicone tray and brush that I love to use when I'm using wood glue because then I can wash the tray and brush out and use it over and over again. And we're just adding some of that wood glue, which you can also find a Dollar Tree onto the tips of these snowflakes and pressing them down onto the wood rings. And it is so quick and easy. You do want to let these sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Let that glue harden and cure all the way before we move on to the next step. The other side of this silicone brush also has this little scoop on it, which I love because then I don't waste any of my glue. I'll link that down in the description box below for you as well. Next step, once your glue has dried, we're going to add some of this white string also from Dollar Tree in their hardware section. We're going to wrap it around a couple times, tie a knot and then tie another knot in the top to make a little hanger for our ornaments. These really have a pretty kind of natural and Scandinavian vibe to them. Really going to be beautiful if you're going to have one of those moody style natural Christmas trees this year, which I think are going to be very, very popular. In last week's video, I took you into Hobby Lobby, into their crafting Christmas section. They have it all on sale now, which is amazing. And I shared this project with you in that video. If you missed that video, definitely head over, watch that one next. At the end of this one, I'll have it linked for you. And we took this really cool find from Hobby Lobby. It is a snow marker, very much like a paint pen, but it has magic effects to it. So once you add the marker onto your project, you can take your heat gun and it actually puffs up and looks like snow and gives your crafts a texture. Really fun to do. Give it a try. I did find this marker on Amazon too, so I'll link it down below for you as well. But I basically just showed you how this marker worked in this project. I didn't necessarily kind of give you a finished project and I thought these would be really pretty as ornaments obviously so I want to show you how to add another element to this to really dress them up even more so here are the finished snowflakes I've grabbed some of this foam mounting tape from Dollar Tree we are going to cut these down into teeny tiny little squares with your scissors and then same uh, little die cut out snowflakes from Hobby Lobby. I actually put the foam on the back of that and then attached it to the middle of these snowflakes. It gave it some more dimension, some more texture, dressed them up a little bit more. And then instantly we have a different, completely different look. And you can just add some string to these so you can add these to your Christmas tree. So you definitely don't just have to hang these on your Christmas tree. You can use them to accent a wall, add them to garland, add them to wreaths, and you get a really pretty effect that way too. But I love the texture on these. Definitely try out this snow marker. It was super fun to craft with. This next Dollar Tree item is actually in their fall section and they have little fall felt decorative pieces in the middle and I'm hoping they have a very similar version come out for Christmas time, but I definitely grabbed these knowing I could use these throughout the year and especially at Christmas time. So we're going to be using some jingle bells to help dress up these mini beaded wreaths. Of course, you just want to cut off that felt decorative piece from the middle and set it aside because you definitely use that for other crafts if you want to. Too. and then we're going to take some string or some jute feed it through a jingle bell also from Dollar Tree tie it onto the top here these little wreaths have bows on them already so I'm taking advantage of that and using that to help hold the first knot which is going to dangle our jingle bell and then the second knot is going to make a little loop for us to be able to hang on our Christmas tree so the first one I used jute, a more natural material, but you can also use ribbon or this red and white baker's twine. Add a little bit more color. I also really love the color of the metallic red jingle bell here that just adds that pop of color to your Christmas tree. I also love that you can also take some paint or some wood stain to these beads and give the wreath and the beaded wreath a completely different look that way too. 
You can see these beaded wreath ornaments paired with the cute embroidery hoop ornaments there. I didn't want to leave you hanging. I wanted to show you how to make these. You can find these hoop ornaments on Amazon. They are three inch size in case you want to look for them at the craft store. We're just going to pair them with some Dollar Tree fabric. Obviously, you definitely want to make sure that you iron out your fabric so there's no kind of wrinkles or creases. We're going to take our embroidery hoop apart, put the smaller one underneath the fabric and the larger one you're going to sandwich the fabric in between push it make sure your fabric is pulled tight and then tighten up the screw at the top of your embroidery hoop then take some scissors and just roughly cut out your embroidery hoop and then turn it over to the back side take your scissors and cut as close to that embroidery hoop frame as you can get so we don't have any of those rough edges showing through on the sides this is already looking so cute, so if you want to, you can leave it as is, or I always love the fun part of embellishing, so I found tons of cute stickers and embellishments at Hobby Lobby. Those are great, or head to Amazon. I also found these cute buttons. Love all of these. These came in one set, even though they're a little bit different, so I'll link those down below for you too, and you can just hot glue these embellishments onto the fabric however you want, however style you want, and then we're also going to take the opportunity to dress these up a little bit more with some jute or you can use the baker's twine or some ribbon. Ribbon works great to kind of feed through up at the top where your screw is to make a hanger for your ornament. You can even go one step farther and hot glue some of that ribbon around the edge of your embroidery hoop. Just gives it a little bit more color, hides the wood if you're not necessarily looking for that effect, but super cute without it too. Just make sure it's good and glued down and it is nice and decorated. I did several of these all kind of in the same color, so I had the same theme and look going on, but they're all obviously very different too. Very fun project. I hope you all get a chance to try this one out. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. If you love to make your own home decor and gift ideas for the holidays, you definitely want to subscribe so you never miss a video like the one you're seeing today. So I had some of those embroidery hoops left over, so let's do a new project with them. Of course, another ornament. This one, we need two of those hoops. We're gonna take the first set apart, the second set apart. But the second set, we're gonna set the one with the screw at the top aside, we don't need that. So the first two inside hoops, we're going to connect those. At the top and the bottom, you wanna make an X and then unscrew the screw at the top of the other one as much as you can. We wanna make a lot of space in there and just cross connect your hoops in the middle, tighten up that screw and it keeps everything together for you. A quick, easy orb ornament. You can also dress this one up if you like. I kept mine really simple though, added some more of that ribbon to the top, adds a pop of color, just tying a knot so we have that nice little loop to hang on our tree. And then one ec extra little embellishment are these cute poinsettias that I also found at Hobby Lobby. Also making sure to add some hot glue here to make sure nothing comes apart during the holiday season. Really, really pretty. These are quick and easy. If you wanted to, you could absolutely paint these or add some wood stain to these to give them a different look and feel. You can also find these wood cutout ornaments at Hobby Lobby, very, very affordable, but Dollar Tree usually carries something very similar as well. We're gonna make some color block ornaments. Using some painter's tape, I just blocked off half of the ornament. I decided to change my mind. I didn't want all the color at the top, so I went ahead and moved the painter's tape on a couple of them, so I had some paint colors at the bottom. I decided to also see what these would look like with a red and also kind of a stained wood tone on the other two and make a more natural looking one. And then I decided to add some vinyl to these. I will have these linked down in the description box in my Cricut Design Space portfolio. So if you have a Cricut machine, you can actually go over there, click the link, 
and it will take you to where these are sized for these ornaments or you can also adjust them to size whatever ornament you want to or even make them bigger if you want to make a big sign so here is what it looks like once the vinyl is added and then we're also going to color block these one more time with some white paint now i apologize because my camera did not like to pick up the contrast here as much as you can see it in person so don't worry it is kind of hard to see but you'll get a closer look here in just a second. It's so actually left the vinyl on these, painted over top of them, and once the uh, paint dried, I removed the vinyl. So I got that shadowing effect with the paint and then the lighter wood behind it. I'm absolutely loving these natural colored ones. I also embellished them a little bit with some wood cutouts as well. Here's a close-up look so you can see more of what the uh, color blocking and shadowing effect looks like up close. Very, very pretty. The red one turned out really cute too, but for whatever reason, after I got this all put together, I was like, you know what? That looks like a fishing bobber. So if you have a fisherman in your life, maybe this would be a great project for them. Or if you don't see it at all, just pretty cute for Christmas too. I also have a couple cinnamon stick ornaments to share with you in this video. In this one, we're going to make a really simple cross. You need a tall one and then one that you cut down about two thirds the size of the original one. Hot glue them and of course your cross shape and then take some decorative twine and cross them in the middle. That's going to help secure our cross ornament so our sticks stay together. And then just cross it a couple times, turn it to the back side and tie a couple knots and that's literally as easy as this ornament pretty much gets we do want to add a little hook onto the top so that way it will hang so we're going to make take that same string make a knot make a loop cut off the ends to cut the excess off and then hot glue that knot onto the back of the cross ornament so this is a very quick and simple way to do this, but you can also get creative with this, add an embellishment over the twine if you want, but it's very pretty and it also smells so good too. I shared this ornament in my angel crafts video. If you missed that, I'll link it down below for you if you're looking for more angel themed projects. I do have a free printable for you as well down in the description box and I will mention that the new link for the free printable is corrected and fixed the feathers very first line has an apostrophe that should not be there but the new version has that fixed so no worries there we're going to take a clear ornament from dollar tree a couple white feathers from hobby lobby or from a pillow maybe that you have you never know you get crafty right you start finding stuff that you need around the house so we're just going to put a few of those in the ornament clip the top back on and then you're going to print out your free printable or you can handwrite this too if you want and take some white cardstock trim out the tags that are on there for you designed on there for you and then take a hole punch punch out the hole and just that quick and easy and we're going to then attach it with some of that baker's twine just take a little piece of that put it through the hole of your ornament and through the hole of the tag tie it all together and we have a really beautiful ornament these also make really sweet gifts even gifts throughout the year and just very simple but very thoughtful too So I'll mention again, if you're looking for more angel themed crafts, definitely want to check out that video and I'll have that link down in the description box, as well as I'll link it at the end of this video because that'd be a great one to head over and watch next as well. This next ornament is so fun. Everybody is going to want to be trying this out. Grab some wood slice ornaments. You can find them at Dollar Tree or I'll link some on Amazon down below. And one of these Scorch markers. This is a magic marker, just like the snow marker we used earlier. This one just has a different effect. This one is got some kind of magic material ink in it that you just draw your design onto wood and then you take a heat gun to it and it activates it and it creates a wood burning effect in the wood it is so cool and it's so simple to do too it's literally like a regular marker you draw on your design on your wood it works great with these wood slices you want to take a high powered heat gun and you want to just slowly go over the ink 
and as you can see it just magically burns the design in it is so fun so satisfying to watch and you can get cr so creative with your designs since you have the control with your paint pen I have also done this using with the help of stencils. So if you do like a vinyl stencil, put it down, color in the design and then take the stencil off, it leaves behind your design and it works great that way too. You can also use a plastic stencil, put your stencil down, color in the wood, take the plastic stencil off and then take your heat gun to it. That works too if you're not necessarily wanting to freehand your designs kind of makes for a little bit more of a cute look. You can also add some string to this and add them to your Christmas tree. These also make great toppers for your gifts and kind of an additional little gift that you can give. You can add to and from to the back of these, hang them from your gift bags. Such a fun project. I definitely hope you guys get a chance to try out the Scorch Marker. It is so fun to work with. I will link it down in the description box below for you as well. Next, we're gonna turn these Dollar Tree white plastic plain ornaments into ones that look super beautiful and high end. You of course wanna take the tops off of these ornaments to start with. And we're gonna grab out a gold leafing kit. If you've never tried this before, it is so easy to do. It comes in two parts. It comes with an adhesive. You take a paintbrush and you just add it onto your ornament in different random places. Let it sit. I used to really put mine on a dowel rod like this because you want to let these sit for about five minutes so that the adhesive has time to tack up. So you can do several of these at the same time while you're waiting on some to dry. Add that adhesive on there and it literally gets sticky and tacky. And then you can come in with your gold leafing and you just lay that into the adhesive and you do this very very gently though if you've never worked with gold leafing it is so delicate you just kind of lay the sheet on top you're also going to need a very soft paintbrush as we tap this on we're also going to pull off any of the excess so we can reuse that for the next ornament and then take your soft paintbrush and flake all of the excess off and you're left with a beautiful very contemporary and high-end looking ornament So here's this one looking beautiful already, but the hardware on these ornaments came silver and I wanted this all to match. So we're gonna take these outside and we're gonna give them a couple coats of some gold spray paint. Also, if you see these, these are from Walmart, but you can find them at Hobby Lobby too. They are kind of like fancy ornament hooks. They just dress up your ornaments a little bit more. These are also silver. So again, just taking some gold leaving spray paint to these doing a couple coats on both sides before then putting these ornaments all together and you'll see the beautiful outcome when it's finished. Do you have a theme for your Christmas tree this year? I would love to know what it is down in the comments below. I think mine's going to be more on the moody, neutral, dark forest green, velvet, kind of rich vibe this year. Whereas in the past, I have definitely done some fun ones, including a complete Grinch theme, I have done gold and red theme, I have done dark green and red. So I'd love to hear what your Christmas theme is this year too. Can you even believe you can find macrame cord at Dollar Tree? Amazing. If you can't find it at Dollar Tree, I'll link some down in the description box below for you. We're gonna make a Christmas tree ornament using this. If you can find it at Dollar Tree, it's a great deal though. We're gonna start by taking a length of our macrame cord. You're going to make a loop at the top and cut the tails the same length at the bottom. Now we're gonna start by also making a knot at the top that's gonna make a loop for us and the bottom below that is going to be our Christmas tree. So tape, taping that loop to your table is really gonna help here. So we're gonna take a length of our string here and cut two at the same length. Put the tails together, lay the loop underneath that 
trunk of our tree, take the other piece and put the tails through the other loop, and then take the other tails on the other side, put it through the other loop. That is going to create a knot in the center. So we're, when we pull the tails tight, it tightens it to the trunk of our tree. And we're gonna push those knots towards the top and just layer these one after another as we work our way down the Christmas tree. After you do your first couple knots or layers, you'll really get into a flow of things and it'll just be really easy and quick to go through this process. I did about eight layers or eight knots total up the center. You wanna kind of lay your fringes out nice and even on the table before then coming in with a sharp pair of scissors. We're gonna cut those fringes at an angle, working our way up to the top on both sides so that way we get our Christmas tree shape. Also trim off the bottom of the trunk of our tree to make that look nice. And that's all there is to it. We have a really pretty kind of Scandinavian style macrame Christmas tree that you can add to your Christmas tree or you can add it to the tops of your gifts too. That would be so, so pretty. Back at Dollar Tree, grab you some more of their clear plastic ornaments. You can also use glass ornaments for these too. And we're gonna do a hydro dipping technique. Another one of these, if you've never tried it before, it's super fun and you definitely should give it a try. Make sure you have a bucket of water that is taller than the width of your ornament because we're gonna dunk it in there. You're also gonna need some spray paint and a jar with some dowel rods on it so our ornaments can dry. Grab a popsicle stick too and definitely some gloves as we need to protect our protect our hands if I can speak. And then the fun part is kind of creating your spray paint design in the water. So I'm using a combination of white, black, and gold for this, but you get creative. Red and green, gold and green, white and gold, whatever works for you. Take your ornament and dip it right on the top of the water down below it kind of take your popsicle stick, move any of that excess paint away from the ornament, pull the ornament up, and you can see we have a pretty uh, random design. Throw that on a dowel rod, put it into a jar so it can dry, and then get off all the excess paint from the top of your water and start the process over. It's fun because you're really gonna get a different look depending on the style and areas of the paint that you spray into the water, and it's fun to dip them and see what comes out. This next one is just really fun. You can find these mini metal buckets at Dollar Tree in a set of three. So you get a really good amount of these for not a ton of money. So I also grabbed some mini pine cones from Dollar Tree, took some white chalk paint and frosted them so they look like they were snowy. And we're gonna add some of these to our bucket, but we need to prep our bucket before we can add them. So we're also gonna take the handle off this, take some more of that white paint, add it around the rim. It's gonna look like our bucket got a little snowy sitting outside too. Once that dries, we're gonna add a little styrofoam ball to the inside of it and that's gonna lift it up so we don't gotta put a ton of stuff inside. It just kind of is a space filler. So this is a little styrofoam ball also from Dollar Tree. Stuck it down in there and then hot glued our pine cones and some white snowballs in there, which are just white pom-poms. 
randomly inside the bucket. You can add your handle back on and add it to your Christmas tree. This will also be really pretty, I think, too, if you have a vinyl cutter to add a saying on the side, or you could even use a marker and write your own saying on the side, too. Now we're going to make some little top hats with some tumbling tower game blocks from Dollar Tree. You're going to need three for each one of these ornaments. Starting with the longer side, you're going to glue two together side by side. And then the third one, you're going to glue to the bottom of that set lengthwise. And instantly we have a cute miniature top hat. And you can decorate these up however you want. You could even leave them um, the wood color if you wanted. I think traditional top hats for Christmas time are black, so I went ahead and painted mine all with some black chalk paint. Once those are dry, we can embellish our hats. This is some Dollar Tree ribbon, but you can find this at the craft store too. Just some red and black buffalo check. Hot glue to the bottom edge of our hat. Flip it over to the other side, add some hot glue there. Trim off the excess and wrap it all the way around. Another cute embellishment are these little uh, stickers that I found at Hobby Lobby. Another fun way to embellish ornaments. Just head to Hobby Lobby and look at their crafting sessions section. So much inspiration there. Added that to the ribbon and then we're going to add some of this baker's twine, a loop on the back so they can then hang on your Christmas tree. Kind of obsessed with mason jars so i love this idea you're not necessarily going to need the jar you just need the lid which you can also just find in packs at dollar tree sometimes or if not i'll link some from walmart and amazon down in the description box below you literally just need the outside ring and we're gonna make a wreath ornament i also am obsessed with this stuff it is greenery with wire in it so all you have to do is take a section of this wrap it around the ring of your mason jar and it covers it and it looks just like a miniature wreath. Is that not the cutest thing? I will link that down below for you too. Then go ahead and embellishment however you want. It's your wreath so you can add some ribbon to it, add a bow to it. I had some little red berries. I decided to hot glue around mine. Of course you need your string to make a little hanger on the back and you can hang it on your Christmas tree or as you can see here also make for a cute embellishment in other ways like on a stocking. So I just said I'm obsessed with mason jars. I'm also obsessed with washi tape. So anytime I get to use washi tape, I get excited. And this one, we finally get to use some washi tape. I found this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. Grab out some old Christmas cookie cutters, or you can also find these on Amazon too. And it is just super easy to add some of this tape on the edge of your cookie cutters. Definitely recommend a little bit of hot glue though too, as it's not real sticky tape. So the edges do tend to want to fold up. So if you add a little bit of hot glue at the end to make sure it stays on there, you can then quickly and easily just wrap the rest of the sides of your cookie cutter with your washi tape. And then of course at the end again, you're going to want to add some more hot glue to make sure that doesn't peel up either. These would be perfect to add to a Christmas tree in your kitchen if you do that. Or I also see these being really pretty hung off the side of a baking themed gift set that you make. So get creative here. Use these in different ways. This was a really fun way to just add a little touch of Christmas to these cookie cutters. Back at Dollar Tree, we're going to grab some more of their Jingle Bells. I love that they come in a big pack, so they're very, very affordable. You can also use these to embellish your cookie cutters. Just take a little piece of Baker's Twine, add it to your Jingle Bell, and then hang it from your ornament in the middle. It just adds another extra little fun touch to it. Easy to do. And another fun ornament you can kind of pair with the last ones on your Christmas kitchen Christmas tree.
Earlier, I showed you how to make a cross using some Dollar Tree cinnamon sticks. This time I'm gonna show you how to make a nativity out of these cinnamon sticks. So you do wanna separate some of them are just kind of crooked and not straight or extra thick. You kinda of wanna find a couple packs that have some that are similar in size and style so they all come together nicely for you. You're gonna need five pieces of these cinnamon sticks. I didn't have to cut any of these down or basically just making a nativity scene or a stable or a house shape crisscrossing the sticks at the top to make that point. We're gonna embellish this just a little bit more with one of these wood star ornaments or pieces from Dollar Tree. Just use your hot glue, add a little bit to the point of your manger, put the star on and that's all there is to it. A quick and easy manger ornament, decorative piece, something fun you can do with a church group, Sunday school, class even. And like I said, these obviously not only are cute, but smell great too. Here's another fun cinnamon stick craft or ornament. We're gonna take one that's a good size this time and we're gonna turn them into a Santa Claus. So grab out some white paint, start about halfway down and make his beard. And then we're gonna add a little bit of red paint above that for our Santa hat. Let that dry, come in with a black paint pen and add his eyes for this. And then we're gonna take kind of an unusual item here, some caulk that you can get from Dollar Tree. I thought this would be a fun way to add some texture to his beard, so just tapped that on. I think this might even work if you use that snow paint pen that I showed you at the start of this video. You probably could add some of that texture with that, taking your heat gun to it, it just kind of added some fluff to his hat and to his beard, and I just thought it was super cute. We're also gonna add a loop of string to the back here and make him into an ornament. I love taking Dollar Tree ornaments and putting my own spin on them. So I didn't necessarily like the red sleigh here for my decor. It might work for yours, but I thought gold would work a little bit better for mine. So I took this all apart, took it outside, added some gold spray paint to this, and then embellished the insides with some Dollar Tree gold berries, some greenery, and also a bow. So that way it would kind of fill up the inside of this ornament and give it some texture. This would be cute as I'm showing you a as an ornament, but you can also use this in a tiered tray too, and that's kind of the look I was going for. You can find these wired garland ties, which I think are for adding embellishments to your banister and creating wreaths and stuff like that. We're gonna take three of these and we're gonna put them together end to end to make a star ornament. So we're gonna take that and start creating our star shape, making a point and then creating both the sides of our star, bending at the points. And then we're gonna have a little bit left over once we get back to the beginning again, twist those tails together, and then take your scissors and trim off any of that excess. Or you can figure out the right combination to make a bigger star. So that way you don't have any excess left over if you don't wanna do that. We're also going to flatten this really good, take our hot glue and add some to the connection points so this stays together for us. And then you can decorate it up however you want. Some red berries looks really cute on here. Add some ribbon so you can hang it. And you can, of course, add it to your Christmas tree or use it to embellish things. You'll see here, I actually added mine to one of my Christmas lanterns. So this 
this was an experiment that I actually ended up really liking. You can find these metal tags at Dollar Tree. And then I found this metal engraver at Menards for like $1.99. If I can find one for that cheap anywhere online, I'll link it down below for you because I know not everybody has Menards stores, but I thought this would be a fun project to try out. So I took a pen first and I just created my design onto the metal tag and then came in with the uh, metal engraver and went over my design and it literally just etches it into the metal and it looks pretty cool. I wanted the mom to stand out a little bit more, so I came in with some black chalk paint, painted over it, and then took a wet wipe and went back over it to remove any of the excess. I just wanted some to stay within the engraving that I did. And then I also came in with some gold rub and buff to give this a little bit more of a metallic look over the top of it, rustic it up a little bit, give it some texture, and then you can add your ribbon to it, add some embellishments to it if you want. This one actually turned into a stocking tag, but again, this is one that you could make into an ornament or a gift topper as well. Back to our clear ornaments from Dollar Tree. You can do so many things with these. And if they have the design on them, you can actually just take some nail polish remover and it'll come right off if you can't find the clear ones. We're gonna add a little snowy scene to this one. So this is a dowel rod. I'm just cutting some uh, small, maybe inch size sections off. And we're gonna hot glue those to the bottom of some mini Christmas trees that are also from Dollar Tree. And that's gonna raise them up for us. Use some tweezers, add some hot glue onto the bottom of the dowel rods and put those into the bottom of your ornament. We're also gonna be adding some Epsom salt to this ornament as snow. So the dowel rods just lift our trees up so that they don't get lost in the snow and they don't fall over. So here's our raised up trees to add the salt to this. I would recommend creating a funnel using some paper and that helps you get the snow into that smaller hole at the top. It just slides right down in there. So these clear ornaments were all the rage not long ago, but they're still super fun to make. You're gonna need some poly acrylic and a clear ornament. Again, using a paper funnel here to get our poly acrylic into the ornament. Twist and turn the ornament until the entire inside is lined with that poly acrylic. Turn it upside down and get any of the excess back into the container of the poly acrylic and let it sit upside down so it can drain into a plastic cup. Now, once this turns kind of a hazy color, starts turning clear, that's when it's ready to start adding some glitter. So here's a new paper funnel that we're adding into the ornament and then just pouring our glitter into the funnel. And then we're going to put a little something over the hole because we're gonna shake this thing and we don't want glitter going everywhere. That would be a nightmare. So cover up the hole, shake your ornament, make sure you get glitter on all of the openings or so you can't see any blank spots, put any excess glitter back into the container and let your ornaments then sit overnight to dry. So that's just the simple basic way to make a glitter ornament. They are so pretty and reflect the light really nice too. You can also go a step further with these and even add some vinyl onto the front. I just created a Santa's cam uh, design and decal for this one, but you could also do a monogram, put a teacher's name, put a saying, you could paint on it, whatever you wanna do, whatever matches your own Christmas decor.
I'll forever keep sharing this project and I hope that it inspires you all to try something new. This is my first experience using alcohol inks and it was super fun to try. You can find these inks on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. And for this one, I am just going with the flow here, trying to figure out what I want to do. So I put all three colors that I chose into the ornament at the same time. And then you want to be able to move the ink around. So you can find canned air at Dollar Tree a lot of times. If not, grab a straw out and you can just blow the ink around. You can also just twirl the ornament around if you want, but it kind of tends to pull and the air helps to dry it quickly too. So it sets up and it's not like becoming a big pool of brown color. You really want these to be pretty opaque colors as you're creating this. So the, this was just a fun kind of stained glass look. You can also put your ink in one at a time and get a totally different look. So I hope you guys give alcohol ink a try because they make really pretty ornaments and it's also a fun thing to add to your craft stash. Air dry clay is also so fun to work with, especially if you're going to make your own handmade ornaments. You can also find some air dry clay at Dollar Tree, so keep your eye out for that. This I found on Amazon. I guess I shop at Amazon a lot, but I'll link them, link this down in the description box below for you. We're also going to use some cookie cutters for this and you're going to need something pointy. I'm using a paintbrush handle and something to roll out your clay. So a rolling pin, or in my case, a Dollar Tree pl plunger handle. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Whatever you have around the house that can roll something out flat, grab that. It could be a glass, whatever works. In my case, a Dollar Tree plunger handle whatever, you know, it works. And I just put out some of my clay. We're basically going to cut these just like we would regular cookie dough using our little cookie cutters here to create our shapes. And then you're going to need something pointy again. I said, I'm going to be using uh, my paintbrush handle. You could use a toothpick, anything to now at this point before your clay starts dry drying to add a hole in the top so we can add some ribbon or string to this later on. These are definitely some of my favorite ornaments that I've ever made, the most fun ones too. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a cookie emoji down in the comments below. And also please hit that thumbs up button that helps out the Cozy Christmas Cottage channel so, so much. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button as I bring you brand new Christmas themed videos here every single week and you don't wanna miss those. I wanna thank you all so, so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Have a very happy holiday. Thank you.